I'm Dr. Benita Rattan and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. So don't forget I'm in the comments section for one hour at the launch of every single video to answer your questions in real time. So today's video is all about the worst home remedies for hyperpigmentation. Now, hyperpigmentation is my greatest passion. Um, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram at the hyperpigmentation clinic, but I've treated about 30,000 cases of pigmentation for skin of color with a 95% success rate. I actually formulated the world's first pigmentation treatment for skin of color of a professional grade, and also the world's first dark circles periorbital pigmentation treatment for skin of color. So pigmentation is my a passion and my love and you know the thing that I have geeked out hard on. So today's video is actually one that has been a while in the making because I've seen so many mistakes when it comes to treating pigmentation and so many DIY videos on YouTube that people then go follow, burn their skin, especially if you've got skin of color and then will come and see me. And ultimately this video is to prevent it ever happening again. I don't wanna see any more burns from DIY products worn at home. Okay, so starting off with the number one culprit, and that is lemon juice. Lemon juice is awful. It's literally the worst thing you could put on your face. People think, oh, but it's got vitamin C in it. It's citric acid. It's a very potent AHA that is absolutely not suitable for skin of color. I mean, it's not even dosed properly. We're not even putting the correct percentage on your skin. You're literally just getting a lemon and squeezing it onto the face or into a mask and then putting it on the face with no calibration of pH. It's a tiny molecule and it causes a lot of irritation and burns. It can also lead to phytophotodermatitis and that is basically when you've got citric acid on the skin and then UV hits the skin and leads to a reaction on the skin. And so often, for example, if you've been eating mango in the sun or if you've been eating oranges in the sun and not cut up properly, but literally across the face and the UV is hitting the skin, the skin is going to feel dry, sore. It can feel quite painful. And that is on the good side of the scale. You know, it can it can get much worse than that. The next culprit is scrubbing with whole grains. So I've done a whole, I discuss this quite a lot in my video reacting to Priyanka Chopra's skincare routine with her mum because they put that on as an exfoliation. This exfoliant is too harsh for skin of color actually because of the size of the grain. It, I just wouldn't recommend it because it leads to micro tears on the skin and this then leads to more pigmentation irritation, flaking. These are all things that skin of color cannot tolerate. Caucasian skin, you can literally burn that top layer of skin away, burn off the epidermis and they will still be fine. The skin will grow back beautifully. For us, we have one scratch, one bite, one burn and we pigment. So we have to be so careful with our skin. We have put so much love into our skin because it just can't tolerate you know, the sort of abuse that you get from stripping the skin with a whole grain, for example. Number three is turmeric. So turmeric actually, um, everyone gets introduced, if you're Indian, everyone gets introduced to turmeric on their ceremony. I mean, for us, we call it the Vatna ceremony where you, you know, they scrub you down with turmeric and it could be the first time you've ever put turmeric on your skin and you could be allergic. So if you're getting married and you know the ceremony is gonna take place, please, about a week before I would test you know test it on your skin behind your ear just to make sure you're not reacting because the worst thing to happen would be your wedding is about to take place that day or the next day and you come up an allergic reaction across your entire body because it literally goes everywhere so um yeah number one I'd say that number two the active part of turmeric is actually curcumin and curcumin is a very low bioavailability and so it gets metabolized very quickly you don't get much benefit from that particular active so although turmeric is really not the worst in this list at all by far this is probably the best out of the worst it's not particularly effective even though it's come down through the generations i mean if you just look at the data 
it's not that effective but you know it shouldn't harm you as long as you're not allergic the next ingredient i really don't like and that's garlic and i just remember sitting in my clinic once and a lady had come in with very severe pigmentation on the upper lip and i remember asking her how because usually when you have melasma it usually doesn't become just very dark on the upper lip you tend to have some other pigmentation usually on the zygoma area as well but it just you know it's like literally like you know she'd drawn in that upper lip area she said it's because she put garlic on the upper lip trying to treat the mild pigmentation that was there before having watched a youtube video and um, so that's actually why i wanted to definitely include it in this particular video it's got a chemical called dialyl disulfide in it which can lead to a burn irritation or contact dermatitis it's also got a chemical in it called allicin which can lead to painful blisters as well the next one that I see a lot is apple cider vinegar, which has a pH of about two to three. Now, apple cider vinegar, I've just seen so many burns cases of young women coming into my clinic, and there's one that I will never forget. It was a young girl who came in who was due to go to Pakistan to meet her future husband, and she had burnt all this side of her face by using apple cider vin vinegar watching a youtube video and following someone's recipe blistered she didn't know what was going on she was nervous and by the time she'd come to see me it was highly pigmented and she was meant to be going on an airplane the following week and her father hadn't even seen her face and i it broke my heart because oh you know people are trying to do their best for their skin the reason why we watch these videos is because we're trying to improve ourselves you know even i watch youtube to like to learn different skills but when it comes to skin of color we can't afford to listen to the wrong person or do the wrong thing because our skin is unforgiving our skin just is so sensitive it literally reacts to any any minor injury um, and so then putting on an acid of pH 2 to 3 is just too strong for our skin. So apple cider vinegar has got citric acid and malic acid. And some people claim that it can improve acne. But to be honest, there's not enough research. There's not enough data. Everything should be research driven. It should be evidence based. So you know you have confidence with what you're putting on your skin. So the next one actually is avocado oil. So I've seen so many cases where people apply avocado oil around the eyes thinking it'll help with dark circles, but then actually it drips down the side of the face because it's oil. And so you will actually see pigmentation around the eyes and this almost demarcation, this line where pigmentation has, has gone onto the face as well. And it's almost classic of avocado oil. So even though the oil itself is good, you would never wear this during the day because it's an oil, oil retains heat and heat leads to pigmentation and skin of color. So avocado oil is an anti-inflammatory, it is an antimicrobial, it's got vitamin A, C, D and E in it. So it's a very good, ingredient but you just would make sure that it's at night time and that you double cleanse in the morning so it's not enough just to wash your face once you have to double cleanse to remove the oil-based dirt and then the water-based dirt because the last thing you want to do is walk around all day thinking you've cleansed your face properly in the morning but actually you have oil sitting on your skin with uv hitting it don't forget, I'm in the comment section for one hour, so make sure you not only subscribe, but hit that notification bell so I can answer you in real time. Please do download your free guide for Skin of Colour. I've put a lot of love into it. If there's any brands you want me to investigate, skincare brands, you know I love doing deep investigations into their ingredients list and the little small print at the back. Um, so just write it down below, whatever you want me to, videos you want me to make for you, and you know I will do it. Thank you very much.